Uh, let's have a look at an important property of uh, transitive relations that is uh, the identity and universal relations which we learned earlier are transitive relations and let's uh, let's look at how how those two relations have a transitive property now the identity relation as we all all know uh, is uh, pairing of the uh, of the element with itself that's a a that's the ordered pair a a where such that a is an element of the set a so uh, it simply means that uh, if you are dealing with a set having elements a b and c the identity relation uh, in the identity relation uh, only uh, the pairing up of the same elements uh, i mean the ordered pair consists of consists of pairing up of the same elements that is in this particular case it comes of the ordered pairs a a b b and c c now uh it simply means that uh, when you are dealing with an identity relation a a is an element of that particular relation b b is also an element of the same relation so what's the key property as uh, as i already uh, told uh, you in in the video uh, describing transitive relations we ought to have a common property to link up the elements and here the property is uh, the first element of an ordered pair being equal to the second element of the same ordered pair and you can see that that's that property is so uh, can be applied across all ordered pairs as far as an uh, identity or relation is concerned so and uh, that's a key point and one uh, very important tricky part which we ought to remember is that uh, uh, you are taking the identity relation uh, as such that is a, a that's the ordered pairs uh, of this particular example uh, in this particular example the ordered pairs a a b b and c c and uh, uh, we are not uh, looking at creating new ordered pairs that is so uh, uh, the property of uh, identity i mean the property of the key property of the identity relation is the, is which is that thing which is important and you are not looking at uh, creating new properties and that's a key point what i mean is that we are not looking at uh, a b uh, 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 that, that ordered pair forming a relation and b c also forming a relation so because uh, in this particular case we know that all all those three elements a b and c are distinct elements and naturally a is not equal to b and b is not equal to c and that, that property uh, cannot be applied when i am saying that uh, the first element of the ordered pair is uh, equal to the second element of ordered pair uh, i am basically referring to the uh, identity relation itself and not creating any uh, any other ordered pair to form a new kind of relation so that, that that's a that's a important point now what about the universal relation now we know that uh, universal relation now uh, when we are considering a a uh, given set a it simply means that uh, the cartesian product of the sets itself is a subset of uh, the cartesian product that is uh, a times a is a subset of uh, a times a itself uh which simply means that every element of a is related to every element of a and uh, let us look at a simple example uh, to to understand how a universal relation uh how a, how any universal relation becomes so uh, transitive now suppose uh, a given set contains elements 2 4 6 8 and in this particular case once again a, a common property is is being used to link up the elements that a a and b the ordered pair ordered pair a b uh is an element of the relation and uh, such that the, the property is that a times b that is when you when you uh, multiply any two elements of the given set a it should give a uh, even natural number that is uh, two when where n is an element of uh, capital n that's the set of natural numbers and we know that when we multiply uh, any two uh, any two uh, even numbers uh, the result naturally would be an even number so because uh, the elements are uh, all the elements are na even natural numbers the multiplication would only give the third even natural number so that particular relation can be applied uh, across all the elements uh, which simply means that we are dealing with a uh, transitive uh, property in the sense that 2 4 
uh, that all odd pair is an element of the relation 4 6 is also an element of the relation which simply means that 2 and 6 that uh, new odd odd pair is also part of the relation uh, once again, what I have to reiterate is that we are not saying that uh, uh, it's it's based on the it's based on that property of uh, uh, the two elements giving a uh, the multiply multiplying the two elements uh, to for for getting a uh, even natural number. It's a property which is a key point. That if you are using any other property, uh, it it would not be uh, you, you would not be dealing with an ordered pair of the same uh, relation. So for example, uh, in the first case, we identity relation, we dealt with the, the first element of the ordered pair being e equal to the second element of the order. Naturally, you can e very easily see that uh, that property cannot be applied here because, of course, 2 is uh, not equal to 6. So so that that's a point which we had to keep in mind when we are dealing with the, the, uh, the transitive relations. Uh, that's a uh, and the, the property uh, linking up is, is an important point. Thank you.